Hi, my name is Michael Allen and for my final year project I looked at sound location in wireless sensor networks. In this video I'd like to talk to you about wireless sensor networks, some of the techniques I used in locating sound within wireless sensor networks and the final application that I produced. What do we mean by a wireless sensor network? Well, a wireless sensor network is quite simply a network of wireless sensors that is deployed over some geographical area. These wireless sensors are small, low cost, low power pieces of hardware which can sense and process data about their environment and also communicate with each other wirelessly, for instance by radio message. A wireless sensor network is often left for long periods unattended, so the sensors must be very careful to conserve the power that they have. Although they are individually constrained, a great number of wireless sensors working together offers substantial processing power and a distributed solution to a problem, such as locating a sound. The hardware I used to implement a wireless sensor network was the MICA2 Mote. MICA2 Motes are small, battery-powered sensors designed and created at the University of California, Berkeley. These moats offer a wide range of onboard sensors, such as light, temperature, sound, acceleration and magnetic field, as well as a microphone. The moats communicate via radio messages and are powered only by two AA batteries. They run an open source operating system known as TinyOS and are programmed via a special board linked to a PC. There are two important techniques that we can use to help us locate a sound, trilateration and time of flight distancing. Trilateration is used to work out the coordinates of an unknown object, given that we know how far away three known objects are from it. Say we know the location of three sensors, and they each know the distance they are away from a sound source whose location is unknown to us. If we imagine the distance from the unknown to be the radius of a circle around a sensor, then the point where these three circles intercept is the location of the sound. Time of flight distancing can be used to determine the distance between two points. Essentially, we measure how long a sound takes to travel between these two points, and then multiply it by the speed of sound. Using the MICA2 modes, it is possible to send two different signals, a radio message and an acoustic pulse, at the same time and then calculate the distance based on the time of arrival of both signals. This works because the radio signal travels much faster than the acoustic signal and hence will arrive before it. So now we've had a look at some sound location techniques, let's take a look at the actual application and how it works. The wireless sensor network consists of two types of mode, actuating and sensing. The actuating modes create a time of flight signal, which is the sound to be located, and the sensing modes receive this signal and work out how far away they are from the actuator. The sensing modes then pass on this information as messages to a base station, which relays the information to the PC. Once in the PC, the graphical application uses trilateration to calculate where the actuating mode is relative to the sensing modes. Here are some examples of the application in action during testing. I hope you've enjoyed this look at my project and that I've helped you understand a little more about wireless sensor networks and sound location. Thanks for watching.